What's going on guys? Majin Parsa back again with another video and today we are going to be making a display for my Dragon Ball. Just like I said in the last video, if you guys didn't see my update, go ahead and check it out. Just lets you know what I'm going to be doing over the next couple of months and why I've been gone for a little while. But other than that, let's jump right into this. So what I'm thinking of doing is what I went and did was I bought a whole bunch of different little art supplies and things like that from Hobby Lobby. I got this little um, plank of wood. It's got like these little uh, angles and divots, divots on the side to uh, give it almost like a museum look. So what I'm going to be doing is I've got some clay, some pretty much like stone, um, fast drying stone clay, and it's called Premier. Um, it's pretty much just standard clay, it's super lightweight, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be creating like a rocky surface on top of this, um, along with some cool little foliage and things like that to make it look like a jungle scene, like the floor of a jungle. And what I did was I got this really cool LED light, it's like a headlight that you use when you go um, like cane diving or whatever, um, from Walmart for like a dollar, so that was a good steal. This is going to go somewhere in the very middle of the entire display, so that way the Dragon Ball can go right on top of it, and when that light hits it, it, it gives it this cool little um, shine underneath it, versus when it's off, on, off, on, you get the idea. So that's the goal, um, I'm winging it, I don't have a exact plan of how this is going to look. It might turn out terrible, but we'll find that out as we go. Okay, so first plan of attack, we do need to take uh, apart this LED light, just because I need to get rid of some of the bulk, so that way it's going to fit onto the piece of wood. So, let me just figure this out real quick here. So that was pretty easy. Um, all I had to do was really take off the, uh, it's kind of like a hinge system, onto these two points here. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but luckily it wasn't too too difficult. So that's just going to go right in the middle there, and I'm pretty much going to just cover it with clay and things like that, so it looks a little more like it's part of the actual floor. So as you guys can see, I've made the surface really rough, give it some texture, just smoothing out some of those dents. It's all going to be filled in anyway later, um, but the point is I just want it to look really natural. I did make like a little bit of a, um, I don't know if you can see this little shape right here, just this little curve. That's going to make it look like there's sand built or dirt building up around this rock that I just made. So it's going to sit right there and it looks a little more natural, like it's been sunk into that dirt. Okay, so real quick, I did cover my Dragon Ball in um, like cling wrap. So that's the good thing about having this in plastic wrap. I can push it into the dirt and give it like its own little specific area to sit in without you know messing it up or completely getting the Dragon Ball dirty or anything like that. I'm almost considering cutting a hole or drilling into the piece of wood right underneath where that is. So that way, um, if I ever need to change the batteries, I don't have to take it out from the top. I can just remove it from the bottom of the piece of wood. That might be a better idea. Alright guys, so luckily the clay actually doesn't really stick to the wood that well, which is good. So I was able to take it off and I put it on a piece of tin foil for now. So I'll leave that for a couple of days and it'll be a week to dry. While that's going on, I'm going to try and drill a hole into the wood. I did mark off exactly where I want uh, the little light to fit. And I've got the light right here for reference, so that way I can make sure it's going to fit and it's going to go perfectly in there. One hour later. Two hours later. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Okay, so now as you guys can see, uh, pretty much just drew, drilled that hole through there. It took me a pretty long time, about an hour, of just using different tools. I pretty much went through every dang tool in my uh, toolbox that would cut through wood or anything like that. 
But now that we've got it, this LED light fits perfectly right in there. And obviously if I lift this up, it's gonna fall through. So what I'm gonna do is we've got this little piece of elastic right here, stretches. I'm gonna be placing that over the top of this so I can easily just slide the LED right underneath and then pull it out whenever I need to. So that's the plan of attack. Just using some standard super glue. Okay guys, so with the power of editing, it has been about a week and I've let this dry. It has warped a little bit. Um, this side's curved up. Uh, it's got not really a flat surface, but it's no big deal. This stuff is pretty flexible. I just literally broke it right now. I think it's just gonna be about there. Now we'll just go ahead and do this first one. What I'm doing now is I'm just going around the edges and the perimeter uh, with the hot glue gun just to A, give it kind of a seal so it, it'll stay a little bit stronger, there's less chance of it falling off ever. Um, B, it's actually going to give a nice little blend to the top of the clay as well as the uh, top of the piece of wood. Now, just to break up the structure a little bit, I did go ahead and, uh, as you guys saw, I put hot glue all over this thing. No specific technique, just random blotches of it everywhere. I kind of tried to stay away from the areas, uh, like the divots that I've made here and here that you can see where the rocks are gonna go. Now, it's important that you don't glue these on yet, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint these a separate color than we're gonna paint this, and this is gonna have a different texture on it. So you want to make sure you don't exactly paint on that area. Okay guys, so I've got all the couple of rocks that I've painted up. I kind of scraped them a little bit so it would give them a little more of a rustic, realistic type of feel to it. gets a little messy so we're gonna take some of this uh, it's like fake moss uh, that comes in kind of just a pouch it's almost like sand uh, and we're gonna just basically wherever we want to put that hot glue a little bit everywhere Look at that, my fingertips are all green from this stuff. Jeez. So yeah, be careful with it. It's gonna come off, obviously. All right, guys, we are on the home stretch here. All that's left to do is I'm gonna use a big, uh, basic paintbrush, and I'm just gonna clean away all the leftover foliage. You see how it's just scraping off the excess that's not actually glued down, so that way it's not gonna fall off later. All right, guys, all we've got left to do is paint the edge of the entire stand with black, acrylic paint, and we should be good to go.
that wraps the video up guys thank you so much for watching I hope you guys had as much fun watching as I did making uh, the display I'm really thrilled with the way it turned out I did not actually expect it to turn out this good as usual don't forget to like comment share subscribe all the good stuff um, let me know what you guys think if you guys like these DIYs I love doing them so hopefully you guys like watching them as always stay awesome and I'll see you guys next time